Hello and welcome back to North K Guns on what is quite a glorious day outside. Right, what we're looking at this week. Well, it's a sub 200 brake barrel. Let's head into the intro. So, sub 200. It is a nice little gun, if I do say so myself. It is the SMK TH208. Chunk that there and slide it up right to the end, and it just about fits in the frame. Look at that, massive. So, yeah, let's head into the bench view and have a closer look. So we'll start at the bottom, as always. It does have a nice rubber ventilated butt piece. Uh, the stock is ambidextrous, lovely jubbly. As you come down, we've got this nice pistol grip, this nice thumb hole, which does make it quite nice to hold. Coming down, we have your safety. And then we have a plastic trigger guard, yuckies. And I think a plastic trigger as well. Yucky. We do have some really nice checker in here on the foregrip, which I think is quite nice. Moving down. Got a nice chunky um, firing thing. I've already thought that's cool, but we're going to go with that firing thing. On the way down, and then we have this barrel weight at the end. Which also helps with cocking aiding. But there we go. On to the features of the 208. It's a spring single shot brake barrel rifle. Uh, it's really great value for money uh, for a Chinese brake barrel. As I said, it's sub 200. Um, it comes with an automatic safety and even has a two stage adjustable trigger. The stock is really nicely finished. Um, it is the upgraded version to the XS208 uh, and comes with no iron sight, so you will need to buy a scope to go with the rifle. Uh, it does have the barrel weight on the end, which is useful, um, and it's helpful for the um, cockinade and for balance and stabilisation. The stock is really nicely made, I think, as I said, and it does look uh, quite professional and it is really comfortable um, when holding. Technical bits. Um, so the 208 comes in 177 and 22. This is a 22 version. It's a fairly long rifle uh, with a total length of 45 inches. That's 115 centimeters, with the barrel being 19 inches, about 48 centimeters. Uh, it's also quite a heavy rifle, I'd say, um, and it comes in at about 3.6 kilos. So that's just under eight pounds. That's before a scope is fitted. Power-wise, while well, I've been doing a bit of research, it's saying people are getting about 11.8, but we'll find out, I suppose, um, when we get to the chrono part of this video. Um, so yeah, let's head out onto the range and uh, see what you can do, shall we? See you on the range. <coughs> so onto the pellet and actually test. We are going to start off with JSBs as always, five shots. See how it gets on. It's a glorious day here today in Norfolk. It's lovely. We've had a week of rubbish and then lovely weather today. It's great. First shot, let's have a look. That went a bit high, I think. The scope I'm using on this is a gamo. Uh, 4x32 so not the greatest of scopes but still it does the job I need it to it's got quite a long trigger pull what I'm feeling that's your first stage, all that is your first stage 
you know what I mean? A long first stage, but again they are adjustable. The second stage is quick, so that's nice. What I am noticing though is the safety moves a little bit, which isn't good. Let's do the final shot and we'll see if you can see it. But I am noticing this safety. It does move. Can you see that? I'll use this hand. A little bit of wiggle there. Alright, let's get this final shot of DSB off. So that's the JSBs. Let's see what the rest of the pellets do, shall we? And that's the pellet test done. Let's head back in the cave and we'll see what it looks like, shall we? Right, so it was meant to be a five shot test of the bought five sets of two twos. So we've got the JSBs, dead centers, BSA, Gold Star. I really like these wasps, I think that was a nice group. Now, I did try these. Now, not great, we all know this. <clears throat> but I took two shots and neither of the pellets would come out of the barrel so I had to come and empty it out separately twice but that's your pellet test done let's go see what it's like on the chrono shall we okay chrono time as always let's get the FX fitted to the front of the barrel and um, we'll see what it does shall we over 10 shots So on to that new little segment we started doing last week. It's the uh, trigger pull. Show it. So what is the trigger pull weight of this gun going to be? What do we reckon? JSB loaded. Let's turn it on. Right. So safety is off. Let's just turn that safety back on. Get this nice and set. Safety off. One pound fifteen point five ounces. I will try another one just in case. Uh, delete. Let's try another one. Safety is off. That's our one pound one ounce. On for luck. Yeah. 
One pound eleven ounces. So the highest we had was one fifteen, and it's one point one and one point eleven. So I'm going to go with the middle one and go one pound eleven ounces. Let's head back in the cave. Right, final thoughts. This is going to sound different from the rest of the video because like a sausage, I've just broken my microphone. Well done to me. <coughs> but, right, onto the gun. Um, it is quite comfortable to shoot. I really like the thumb hole. And it's nice and smooth on the top. You can fit your thumb on it nicely to rest comfortably. Um, uh, yeah, full grip doesn't really do much. It's really shallow. So that's it, just for looks, personally. Um, I don't like how long the first stage is, but it is adjustable, so I can change that out. Um, and I don't think it's very good that the safety moves up and down. Like the whole unit here will move up and down, not very good, but again, like that can be sorted out, no doubt. Uh, right, power-wise, as you saw, uh, I was doing research and it was saying 11.8 blah de blah. Out of 10 shots, the highest I got was 8.4, that's with JSBs, um, and it went down to 8 foot, so nowhere near the 11 foot pound, supposedly. Um, trigger pull weight, it's a fairly light trigger. Um, what was that? Was it? I went for the middle one, didn't I? I think I went for 1.11 ounces. One, yeah, 1.11. I think that's what I went for, uh, that one. Um, other than that, it is a nice gun. It really like those wasps, I think, out of all the pellet tests. I think with a little bit more fiddling around, I would have got them all perfectly in the center, uh, in the center of where I wanted them. Um, but then it was also down slightly to a scope, and that's not a very good scope. That's what come with the gun um, when I bought it. So, box standard basic camo duplex, no ball dot. Um, so all guesswork. Um, other than that, not much more to say. I do genuinely, I did like shooting this gun. It's the cocking is so easy. It's nice and easy to cock. It's not one of those really stiff ones you get sometimes. Um, I've had a few even cheaper rifles than this. Like I said, this is less than two hundred pound, so sub two hundred. <clears throat> the cocking is nice, um, but that may also be why. It's not powerful, powerful, because you're cocking the spring and the spring isn't compressing so tight to give you the more power. It could be something as simple as that and why the power is low. Um, so enough of me waffling. As I said, I did enjoy shooting it. It is a nice gun um, and well worth it to have a fun around, but advertise the pest controller. I don't think so, not eight foot pounds. Um, Good fun for target shooting, good fun for just garden plinking as you saw me doing uh, on the outdoor range. But yeah, nice gun, I'd, I'd recommend one. Good little rifle, they do feel comfortable. Um, just a little bit of tweaking I think needs to be done to this one and it will be perfect. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you very soon. Bye bye for now.